teaches and tutors. Now let's consider uh, Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. And now let's look at the themes. The major themes, the first major theme is that of inner versus exterior guidance. But inner versus exterior guidance is all about how Siddhartha learns that enlightenment can only be reached from within and not by seeking or looking for external religious leaders or religious ways of leading us to the absolute truth. And uh, external teachers cannot teach you enlightenment. And uh, Siddhartha believes that enlightenment can only be sought by looking within. He tried the Brahmins, he tried the Samanas, he tried the Buddhists. But in each of these ways fails in reaching enlightenment through organized religious percepts and teachings. Therefore, he resorts to Kamala, the sensual, sexual world, and he resorts to Kamaswami in the commercial world, in the material world. But neither of these two aspects fail to bring him closer to enlightenment. Therefore, he leaves feeling dissatisfied. And then finally, he meets Vasudeva, the ferryman, whose beatific smile makes him um, be very impressed. So Siddhartha asks him, what is his greater truth? How does he feel this internal connection to the cosmos? And then Vasudeva tells him that he feels an internal connection to the river, who is enlightened and blissful. And then to Siddhartha embarks on a journey to search for an understanding of Vasudeva and the river says. So the river reveals the complexity of existence through sound and image. And Siddhartha meditates on these revelations. In stark contrast, Govinda looks to external teachers for guidance on seeking enlightenment. And Siddhartha leads him to enlightenment. Siddhartha acts as a conduit for Govinda to reach enlightenment. Siddhartha asks Govinda to kiss his forehead, to enable Govinda to see the nature of existence in one instant. And Nirvana comes from within. Now that is the theme of inner versus exterior guidance, while Vasudeva teaches Siddhartha that you can only seek enlightenment through inner wisdom, but uh, Govinda goes on thinking that exterior guidance can lead one to wisdom. But he is mistaken in the, this belief. Now let's consider the next theme of Siddhartha, which is wisdom of indirection. Siddhartha's tactics to seek enlightenment are more aggressive and deliberate. Ironically, a more the indirect approach yields better results. Govinda is dedicated to the practice of Buddhist devotions. Siddhartha rejects these methods after trial and error and relies on intuition for guidance. Govinda tries too hard. 